Good afternoon and salam Ibu Pertiwiku. This is World News at 2. Iran on Tuesday announced its first arrest over the shooting down of a Ukrainian airline in Tehran last week after a third night of angry protests over the disaster. The Ukraine International Airlines plane was brought down by a missile shortly after takeoff on Wednesday, killing all 176 passengers and crews on board. It came clean on Saturday when Revolutionary Guards Aerospace Commander Brigadier General Amirali Hajizadeh acknowledged a missile operator had mistaken the plane for a cruise missile and opened fire independently. Since Tuesday last week, a tall volcano constantly spewed lava into the sky, possibly portending a bigger and more dangerous eruption as tens of thousands of people fled villages darkened and blanketed by heavy ash. UN spokesman Stephanie Dujaric said more than 350 volcanic earthquakes have been recorded near Tal since a Sunday. According to the Philippine Institute said about 50 volcanic earthquakes were detected over eight hours Tuesday, indicating rising magma. Tal's last disaster eruption in 1965 killed hundreds of people. It is the second most arrestive of about two dozen active volcanoes in the Philippines, which lies along the Pacific Ring of Fire where much of the world's seismic activity occurs. The International Court of Justice, the United Nations highest court, will issue a decision on a request for emergency measures in a genocide case against Myanmar on January 23rd. In November, Gambia filed a suit alleging Myanmar was committing an ongoing genocide against its minority Muslim Rohingya population violating the 1948 Genocide Convention in a military campaign that expelled more than 730,000 Rohingya from the country. Myanmar's leader Aung San Suu Kyi, however, defended her country against the charges. She denied that genocide was taking place and said the court has no jurisdiction to hear the case. Well, that is all for me. I'm Yumi Sreni for TV Sarawak. Anytime, anywhere.